Yo, what is up guys? Coach Attack here, back at it again. So today, we're doing the review of the Corsair Carbide 275R case. Let's get to it. As you guys can see, this, the, the case is a really sexy design. Of course, every case with tempered glass makes it show a little more, especially when you do have the Corsair lighting. It just makes it pop. Now let's get into the price of the case. Now the tempered glass version is $80. And now we also have an acrylic variant, which is $10 less, just 70 bucks, which isn't that bad. Now we do have two color options. We have the black, as you guys can see, and there's also a white there. Now let's talk about the specs of the case pretty quick. Now this case supports three types of uh, motherboard sizes. We have ATX, micro ATX, as well as mini ITX. Now also in the front, we could fit a 360 mil rad, as well as in the rear, you could fit a 120, and on top, you could fit a 240. If you want to deck this whole rig out with some radiators, if you want to water cool it, you're right on. Now as well, we also have three dust filters. We have one in the front, one in the bottom by the power supply, and one on the top. Now also you have the power switch, the reset switch, the microphone, the headphone, as well as two USB ports. Now, since we got the specs and color out the way, let's get to the kosher review of the case. All right, now firstly, the case has a major issue with the tempered glass panel. Now, it, it does, they don't have any more the thumb screws support. We have Allen key screws. Now, every time you wanna unscrew this glass, you have to use an Allen key, which is completely, completely dumb. Now, not only you have to not only the, you have to have an Allen key present, but you also have to be careful how you unscrew the screw because you could accidentally scratch the tempered glass, which completely blows. But once you got the glass out the way, once you actually take it off, there's also these little rubber garments that hold the glass to the case. Now these things are completely terrible because I already lost two of them. And every time when you take the glass off or when you try to line it up and put the glass in to screw in the um, Allen key screws, the little rubber holders always fall off the tempered glass. And that already happened to me and I'm really, really frustrated because if you do lose these little rubber garments, it's really, the, the, the glass is not gonna be fit all the way to the case. There's gonna have, you're gonna have a, like a millimeter uh, off and the, 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 the glass is gonna wobble a little bit and it's just gonna be a big pain. And honestly, it just really, I was really, really pissed off when I lost them. But that's a huge issue, I honestly think, in my opinion. And if you guys do have the same problem with this glass, with this design, please comment below. Tell me how you guys honestly feel about it because I'm extremely pissed. Now also for the feet, now they went with the silver layout of the feet, the color choice. I personally would love if they would have just black out this case, just make the feet black as well. But they went with more of, I don't know, why would they go with silver? Maybe they're trying to copy more of the fractal design because a lot of their cases have the silver feet. But yeah, this case have the sil has the silver feet. And to be honest, I'm not really a fan of that color. I wish they went with the, more of the blackout, like I said, just all decked it out with the black color. Now let's talk about the positives. Now the positives are this case, really easy to build in. I had no issues with the case whatsoever to put in the motherboard, to put in the rads, to put in the fans. Now a slight hiccup I had, I do have a 280 mil rad in front of the case. Now, in my instance, when I had the, I have the Corsair 280 mil rad in there. Now, unfortunately up top, I wasn't able to fit three exhaust fans. I was only able to fit two and the two fans are 120 mil. That was a slight hiccup, but overall, the design of the case, the way it was meant to fit, great design, no issues to build in, the most important thing. Now the airflow, now with every case, that has a solid front, you're not gonna have the best airflow because there's no air. The fans basically can't breathe, can't take in the air because the front is not open. That That's honestly expected. The airflow isn't bad. Obviously, it could have been a lot better. The way I have it set up is I have two, my two 140s are intakes and my top one, my two top 120s and my rear 120 are exhausts. So that kind of helps. Now again, you could choose your own layout, see what works best for you. Now lastly, we also do have an option for a vertical mount of the graphics card. That looks really dope, but the only problem is I just wouldn't go with that as of yet because the graphics card is gonna probably heat up even more because there's not gonna be enough airflow going to the card because the card is gonna be really close to the glass. But all in all guys, it's not a bad case for the price. 
I just wish that the design of the tempered glass, honestly, they would have never chosen to go with that design. They should have just kept it as thumb screws. But for some reason, this, uh, this, these Allen keys set up are just a big screw up on their behalf. Uh, if that really bothers you, if, if you know, if you think the, the whole Allen key design is not going to fit your style, then honestly, just don't buy it. Uh, you know, I got kind of got caught with it. You know, I do like the design of the case, but the big issue is those in that implementation with the Allen key setup and those stupid little rubber things that I lost. And now I honestly have to find them, but I don't even know what I'm going to do with that. Now, I'll just leave it the way it is. You could screw it in, like I said prior, but the glass is going to be a little off from the case. But that's that, guys. I'm Kosher Tech. This is the Corsair Carbide 275R case. If you guys like the review, hit that sub, hit that like. I'll catch you next time. Deuces.